Do you like rock? No, not that rock. And this rock. And also, do you like metal? No, no, not that metal. This one, this one, and this metal. Bonus points if you can name any one of those songs that I just show you guys the pictures of. If you love any of those music or that genre or similar genre to those type of music, then this video is exactly for you. We're gonna go over 10, actually more than 10 IEMs that are perfect fit for those genres, in my personal opinion, of course. Hey guys, welcome back to another video and I'm in my kitchen. I heard some of you guys love it when I just switch scenes around, film from different locations in the house so it's not, you know, mundane, same scene all the time. You know, I hear you, I hear you. So right now, today, we're in the kitchen. And yes, I do have, I think, around 11 IEMs here total, if my math is not messing with me. 11 IEMs that I feel like are the best for listening to, you know, rock, and metal. And for me, when it comes to rock and metal, you guys might think, hey, Timmy, don't you listen only to R&B and anime music? Don't you listen to just K-pop? Aren't you a mega weeb? And to that, I will say, yeah, all those things are true. But I also listen to a lot of metal as well. Screamo, I had an emo face, all right? I admit, I had an emo face and I listened to a lot of metal back in the day. I love music that makes me wanna, you know, um, <laughs> I'm not even gonna go there. But yeah, I had an emo phase and I was into rock, metal, screamo, and all that stuff for a long time. I still love it till today. I used to love it so much that I fall asleep listening to screamo. Yeah. So needless to say, I do have my preferences when it comes to IEMs that fits those genres specifically. For me, I love IEMs that have a lot of speed, show a lot of details because metal, rock, they're really fast music. And IEMs that don't do well um, technically or are tuned kind of too warm or too muddy in the bass, uh, they fall apart really fast. So all the IEMs present here today are gonna be IEMs that are tuned relatively well, relatively, I wouldn't say clean, it has a little bit of warmth to them for the most part, but a lot of them, I would say all of them here, are technically proficient for the price that they're at. So in this video, let's start off with the lowest price and go all the way to the highest price. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna rank them and tell you guys which are my top three, top five, whatever, all right? So let's begin. If you're on a budget, the first one and the lowest one that you should get is the Blonde 03. Bar none, you should not go any lower than the Blonde 03 when it comes to rock or metal music because Blonde 03 for me is like the pinnacle of cheapy technicalities, all right? It has technical performance that is good for the price. There is a best for around $30 or under $50 in general. Anything below that just sounds really um, yeah, they don't sound so good. I tested out a few of them. I tested out the Tanya, I tested out the Quirks when it comes to metal music, and they all just fell apart really hard. So the lowest one you should get, the cheapest one, is the Blonde 03. Now this one is tuned relatively well. It has a bit of warmth to it, which some of you guys might like. Add that kind of like warm, luscious male vocal feeling, you know, maybe add to the mid bass a little bit. For me, I like it, but I do feel like it is a touch too warm at time, and I wish it has a little bit more sub bass as well. But for $29, uh, I can't complain too much. This is the cheapest if you're really on a budget and you love that genre of music, rock, metal. Again, don't go any lower than this one. Moving up the list, we have now $49.99, uh, $50, let's say. We have the Tripoan Melee. Now, this one is a simple one to put in here because it is pretty much the blonde, but, you know, fixes the base of the blonde. Now the tuning of this leans slightly a bit warm as well. I wouldn't say as warm as the Blonde 03, but what this has that the blonde doesn't have is sub bass. Yes, the blonde kind of lacks in that department while the melee has sub bass and has really good mid bass at the same time. Now the top and the treble, both blonde and melee are gonna struggle a little bit in the treble area and also the details on the melee is pretty much the same level of details you get for the blonde, but for me, the reason this is better is because of that added sub bass. And the fact that it's a little bit less warm than the blonde makes this sound more natural to me. So I prefer this over the blonde for sure. Now it is $20 more than the Blonde 03. So if you're still on a budget, I would say the Blonde is still a sufficient enough option, but if you can stomach 50, then this is better. Next price bracket is $79. We have two of them here at 79. The first one is the T3 Plus from 10 Hi-Fi, yes. And if you don't know, later on this month, I'm gonna be giving away 10 T3. Three of them to be exact, later on towards maybe closer to like Christmas time, maybe Christmas week. Yes, that week, I'm gonna be giving away three 
of these babies. So subscribe, stay tuned for that. Why not? It's free stuff. Anywho, back to the T3 Plus. Now this one is tuned quite nicely. The mid-range has a little bit of warmth, but overall very clean sounding natural mid-range with good mid bass and a decent sub bass. Not as good as the Melee sub bass, but it has decent sub bass as well. I, I love sub bass. I'm a sub bass uh, addict you can say. I love my sub bass. So yes, nicely tuned, good mid bass, technical performance wise, better than the Melee, slightly, slightly bit better than the Melee. So yeah, if you want to upgrade from the Melee, this is a good choice. The next $79, of course, uh, man, <laughs> is the Aria. And I know you guys want to know what the difference is between these two are. They're the same price. Which one should I buy? Which one's better? I'm going to be reviewing the T3 Plus tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. I don't want to spoil anything in this video. But one thing I can say is that this sounds more natural. This has slightly bit of a warm tinge. This has better soundstage. And um, yeah, I'll just stop it at that. The Aria, I've talked about it <laughs> a lot on this channel. You guys don't need to hear it anymore. Under $100, I would still say this one is the go-to for the versatility for any genre of music you listen to. The Aria is just that great. You know, under 100, still king for me. Next, we have the Aria type sound with better technicalities and a little bit more energy so guitars are going to be more forward electric guitar is going to sound more real to life this right here is another moon drop <laughs> we have moon drop kato so this is pretty much the same dna as the aria again with more energy and better technical performance better details more clarity the drum hits are much cleaner on the kato than the aria the sound stage remains pretty much similar i would say the aria still feels slightly bit wider than the kato believe it or not but again the kato is just an upgraded Aria in every other way possible. So again, if you want the Aria sound, but with just more details, more clarity, better bass line, and more energy in general, then the Kato is the way to go. All right, next I am, it's a planar. It's the best planar on the market right now. It's timeless. All right, moving on to next I am, we have the, what? Well, you want to hear about the Timeless? Seriously? Like, you, you haven't heard enough about the Timeless for the past few months? You really want me to explain this again? It is really fast. And especially for rock and metal music, it is phenomenal. Every little drum hits, every little kind of nuances in the song comes across distinct. Like, it's really, really nicely done. The speed on this is so good. The bass is powerful enough. For this genre of music, I would say under $300, I prefer this. Like this is just go-to. If you can save up $220, then just get this. You don't need to look at anything else in this list. Just get this, all right? And be done, be happy, all right? Trust me. Okay, now we can finally get to the next IEM for real this time. If you have a lot of money that you wanna throw away, then this section of the video is for you because starting from this point, everything gets mad expensive, all right? It's 500 plus from this point onwards. So strap in, pat your wallet in the back, and send it off on its merry way because you're never gonna need your wallet ever again after this because there'll be no more money to put in it. Yeah. First one in the breaking the bank category, we have Moondrop Variations. Now this one, I would say, has a little bit of a caveat to it, all right? So a lot of people who listen to rock and metal love mid bass. They want the slam, they want the hit. This doesn't really have that. This is kind of like the opposite of what you would want, but hear me out for a second. This thing has sub bass that will rock your world. And when you listen to metal or rock, sometimes you have this really nice kind of sub bass line that just feels like rumbly and raw. And this represents that sub bass the best. And for me, it's so enjoyable for this genre. And not only that, this thing has really wide soundstage. So everything just comes across really grand. And the amount of treble that this thing has as well makes electric guitars and all the simple hits just feel like they have an endless headroom to work with. They don't feel squeezed. They don't feel tiny. This has a lot of great details as well. It just has a lot going for it that works with this genre really well. The only thing that is missing is the mid bass, but I feel like it makes up for it 
in the sub bass. So hear me out on this one, try the variations for those genres and you'll be surprised. Boys, we're in the thousand dollar range now, boys. Oh no, let's get this over with. Monarch Mark II, natural, cohesive, great levels of details, balance all around. I would say that this is probably the most versatile I am. I've ever grabbed. Yeah, it works with pretty much all genre. For rock and metal, it works really well because it has the speed, it has the details to cover that. And it also has really good mid bass to go alongside that as well. It's not like the first Monarch, the OG Monarch. That one's very thin. This one is not at all thin. Great choice. But if you want cheaper than this, you don't want to spend a thousand, then you just go with the Oracle. It's similar, it just doesn't have as much details as the Monarch Mark II. But if you want cheaper, you go. Oracle. Now we're on to the last three IMs. And before I go over all of that, I want to know who's still here in this video with me. Comment down below one of your favorite metal song. Just down below, you know, help me discover some new music. All right, next one comes to very no surprise to a lot of people who love this genre or who watch other reviewers who also love this genre is the Mess Mark II. The bass in this is ha ha so good like it's so good sub bass mid bass especially for this genre is just slamming like a spot on really fun i am the bass is slamming it has a lot of details it has great texture and the sub bass is rumbly as well and the vocals are not hindered by how strong the bass is at all which is really 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 nice so yeah mess mark 2 especially for this genre is one of the top options in my personal opinion it is just great so so fun and it represents the genre extremely well. So what's better than Mess 2 then? Um, <laughs> this one right here. <laughs> C1R, yeah, comes to no surprise. If we're talking bass and we're talking best bass on the planet, it's the C1R. Bar none, best bass on the planet. We're talking bass texture, bass extension, sub bass, bass slam, details. <sighs> you'd be hard pressed to find any better than a C1R. It is just the base end game of choice by a lot of reviewers, not just me. And it, it, it's still unbeatable. The only thing that's really crappy about it is the fit, man. This thing is huge. And if, if you have smaller ears, you're screwed. I'm sorry, like it, this is just not gonna fit you. So yeah, that's really the only thing that's hindering this thing. Other than that, it is a base god, base monster for rock and metal. This is king. C1R is king. So I told you guys I have 11 IM. So there's one more, but this one is not technically better than Mess or the C1R. It's kind of like a side grade, if you will, if you want like a different vibe. But this does have its own party trick that I really, really like. And this one is the Anoli VX. Yes, it's my favorite I am. I'm gonna talk about it, okay? Because I love this thing. The reason this is so good for rock and metal is the sheer level of details. It does every single hit of the drum so well. Everything is so separated. You feel every attack, you feel every hit with such distinction that it is just so fun to listen to rock and metal on the Anoli VX. And the treble extension on this is also really, really superb. Wide sound stage, so again, electric guitars or cymbal hits, all those have sense of air and room, which is really good. The only thing that makes this not really part of the list or kind of like a side grade from the best is the bass. It really doesn't have like the rumbly bass that you want for rock and metal, but it has the details for the drum hits. So that's why it's more of a side grade, not really in the list itself. Kind of like an audible mention, if you will. But yeah, still fantastic and still my favorite. All right, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. And if you're new here, please subscribe. You know, why not? You made it all the way this far already. You know, just the red button right there. Pop. Thank you. So yes, with all that being said, don't forget to comment down below one of your favorite IEMs that you know you listen to these genres with and also share a song if you want to share a song because I would love to just discover more music. And with that being said, don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for the TNT3 Plus giveaway later on this month. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye.